Okay, would everyone please turn off or silence cell phones and electronic devices and rise for a moment of silence and the pledge of the flag. Stockis, Benton, Here. Cheney, Here. Faggio, Here. Hines, Kulasek, Luhan, Minuta, Here. O'Donnell, Briskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Stegenga, yes. Sutherland, Here. Tortel, Here. Tui, Here. Bureau, Here. Brescia. Here. 19 present, three apps, two, I'm sorry. No one signed up for public. Nineteen absent, two absent. End of the year. Oh, Mike and Agnes Stockis. Okay. And we only have Deputy County Exec Kerry Poor in the audience. So nobody signed up. All right, uh, Majority Leader Benelli. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I respectfully move to approve the minutes of October third, November seventh, and November thirteenth. Second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Carried. Okay, any referrals, consents, or withdrawals? No? Okay. All right. Let's get going. Uh, A, receive and file. A1, receive and file. Number one. Legislator Benton, resolution accepting and confirming the report of the clerk of the legislature of the apportionment of the county budget as adopted for the ensuing year. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Emo? Yes. Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulasek? Minuta? O'Donnell? Riskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Stiganga? Sutherland? Totel? Tui? Vera? Brescia? 19 eyes. Okay, A2 receive and file number two. Legislator Benton, resolution approving the report of the clerk of the legislature of the apportionment of the town budgets and levying upon the respective towns for town purposes pursuant to Article 8 of the town law and upon the respective districts thereof for the district purposes pursuant to several provisions of a town law. Discussion? Okay, roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulasek? Minuta? O'Donnell? Briskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Stiganga? Sutherland? Totel? Tui? Vera? Brescia? 19 eyes. Okay, A3 receive and file number three. Legislator Benton, resolution approving the summaries of taxes and special assessments to be levied in the several towns, districts, and cities, and directing the extension of said taxes on the assessment rolls pursuant to section 900 of the real property tax law. Discussion? Roll call. Canelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulasek? Minuta, O'Donnell, Briskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Stiganga, Sutherland, Tortel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 19 eyes. Okay, number four. Legislator Benton, resolution approving the completed tax rolls of the several towns and cities and directing the ex execution and delivery of warrants for the collection of taxes extended thereon pursuant to section 904 of the real property tax law. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulasek? Minuta? O'Donnell? Briskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Stiganga? Sutherland? Tortel? Tui? Vero? Brescia? 19 eyes. Okay, number five, bond resolution, two thirds. Legislators Benton and Benelli. Bond resolution dated December 19, 2019. Bond resolution of the County of Orange, New York, authorizing the replacement 
of the commercial aircraft hangar roof at the county airport, stating the estimated maximum cost thereof is 250,000, appropriating said amount therefore and authorizing the issuance of 250,000 bonds of the county to finance said appropriation. Second. Discussion, Bureau added. Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduke? Yes. Amo? Yes. Benton, Cheney, Fagione, Hines, Pulisic, Menuda, <laughs> O'Donnell, Riskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tartel, Tui, Biro, Brescia. 19 eyes. Okay, number six, another bond resolution. Legislators Minuta, Riskevich, Benton, and Hines. Bond resolution dated December 19, 2019. Bond resolution of the County of Orange, New York, authorizing the treatment and rehabilitation of runways, taxiways at the county airport, stating the estimated maximum cost thereof is 50,000, appropriating said amount therefore, and authorizing the issuance of 50,000 bonds of the county to finance said appropriation. Bureau added uh, discussion, roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduke? Yes. Amo? Yes. Benton, Cheney, Fagione, Hines, Kulisek, Menuda, O'Donnell, Riskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tartel, Tui, Biro, Brescia. 19 eyes. Okay, number seven. Legislators Benelli and Benton. Resolution acknowledging the election of individuals recommended to be appointed to the Beaver Dam Lake District Advisory Board and appointing the same as members thereof in accordance with December 10, 2019, December 11, 2018, February 13, 2018, and December 12, 2017, Beaver Dam Lake District election results pursuant to Resolution 280 of 1988. Second. Discussion, Staganga added, Hines added, uh, Totel added. Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduke? Yes. Emo? Yes. Benton? Cheney, Fagione, Hines, Kulisek, Menuda, O'Donnell, Riskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tartel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 19 eyes. Okay, number eight. Legislator Benton, resolution pursuant to real property tax law sections 558 and 1138.6, directing the cancellation of certain taxes which have been rendered unenforceable. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Yes. The Duke? Yes. Amo? Yes. Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulisek? Menuda, O'Donnell, Riskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tartel, Tui, Biro, Brescia. 19 eyes. Okay, number nine. Legislators Benton and Paduke, resolution authorizing the Commissioner of Finance for the County of Orange to make refunds or corrections of taxes in the amount of $2,500 or less. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduke? Yes. Amo? Yes. Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulisek? Menuda? O'Donnell? Riskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Staganga? Sutherland? Tartel? Tui? Vero? Brescia? 19 eyes. Okay, number 10. Legislators Amo and Cheney, resolution authorizing the county executive in conjunction with the Orange County Department of Planning to apply for, accept, and appropriate funds from the 2020 New York State Census outreach funding allocation pursuant to section 99-H of the general municipal law and section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Second. Majority Leader Benelli. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I respectfully ask that all so granted. Me as well, all Dems, please. So granted. And independence is already on. And your other independent, well, he's not here, so I guess you can't have him. Okay, roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduke? Yes. Amo? Yes. Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulisek? Menuda? O'Donnell? Riskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Staganga? Sutherland? Tortell? Tui? Vero? Brescia? 19 eyes. Okay, number 11. Legislators Paduke and Fagione, resolution authorizing the county executive in conjunction with the Orange County Department of Planning to accept and appropriate funds as a subcontractor to the Orange County Department of Health pursuant to section 99-H of the general municipal law and section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Second. Majority Leader Benelli. Yes, again, uh, would you please add all Republicans? Certainly. Thank you, Mr. Okay. Anybody else? Independence, yes. Hotel added. Okay. 
Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduke? Yes. Amo? Yes. Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulisek? Menuda, O'Donnell, Briskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tortell, Tui, Bureau, Brescia. 19 ayes. Okay, number 12. Legislators Cheney, Staganga, Sassy, O'Donnell, Menuda, Briskevich, Paduke, and Benelli. Okay. Res sure. oh, go ahead. Sorry. Resolution of the Orange County Legislature urging New York legislators and Governor Andrew M. Cuomo to increase state support for Cornell Cooperative Extension County Associations in the state of New York. Applause. Sorry, thank you. Applause uh, threw me off. Majority Leader Benelli. <laughs> That's right. And Mr. Chairman, would you please add all the sponsors? Would you please add the rest of the I will. We will. Okay. Well, everybody. Okay. Good. Except for discussion. Yeah. Except Lori. No. Yes, that's right. You do. Sorry. Okay. Everybody but Lori. Discussion. Yes, Paul. Uh, yeah. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I just want to thank everyone for supporting this uh, resolution. Uh, this funding uh, currently there's um, state funding that's shared among all cooperative ex extension. Uh, offices around four million and I think it's been set there for the past 30 some years so they've been lobbying the state to increase that to eight million uh, and one of the, the great things uh, about that funding is it's um, portioned out to the different offices uh, based on a formula that uh, weighs heavily on county support and since Orange County gets uh, so much support from the legislature they uh, uh, do pretty well with that funding so um, it uh, could be a, a very positive thing for extension. So, thank you. No, I think it will be, and I, I, I don't think I said it at E&E, &E, but I'm pretty sure I said it at Rules, that uh, I wish the legislature got a little credit for this instead of just Jen Metzger, because we had a lot to do with it. And Orange County probably supports Cor our Cornell Cooperative better than just about 95% of the counties in the state of New York. So, we need to, you know, give ourselves a, a pat on the back a little bit. Yeah, this is something that they've been uh, pushing for for several years now, and uh, we've always been supportive of it. Thank you, Paul, for bringing it. Uh, discussion? All legislators are going to be added, right? Yes. Okay. Roll. Yeah. Except hotel. That's right. Roll call. Vanelli? Yes. Duke? Yes. Amo? Yes. Yeah. Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulisek? Menuda? O'Donnell? Briskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Staganga? Sutherland? Totel, Tui, Biro, Brescia. 18 ayes, one abstention. And number 13. Legislators Hines, Benelli, Staganga, Biro, Sassi. Resolution imploring the state of New York to immediately amend or delay implementation of bail and discovery reform laws that will endanger the people of New York and reverse decades of bipartisan progress in reducing crime. Second. Yes, well. Once again, Mr. Yes, absolutely, and independence too. Okay. Uh, discussion, Janet. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I would just like to encourage um, everybody to come together and to support this. Um, I don't think there's any denying the need for some kind of bail reform. However, the way it was done was inappropriate. Uh, this puts an unnecessary financial burden on our counties and taxpayers an absolute drain on our law enforcement, and it jeopardizes the welfare of our citizens. So I encourage you to please support this. Thank you. Yes, Legislator Pagano. Chairman, thank you. Uh, as Chairman of the Rules Committee, it was, uh, this was brought before committee, and um, there was support uh, from many angles, financial side, as well as a law enforcement and public safety side. So I encourage all of my fellow legislators to vote in favor of this. You know, the, the most important thing in, in these documents here before us, we have several whereases, which uh, should include fact and at times even opinion. Um, but the most important thing in these resolutions are the resolves. And the resolves are the actions at which we ask people to partake. And there are resolves that are on the back of this. There are six, two of which that are very important. Uh, in speaking with our district attorney, um, the one most important one was number two, the increase of discovery time from 15 days to a maximum of 45 days. In the last 24 hours in Orange County, there was a double shooting in the eastern edge of Orange County. In the center of Orange County, sadly, there was a murder. 
And in the western edge of Orange County last night, there was a vehicular assault. And of all three of these crimes, there's a great deal of data that needs to be processed by our law enforcement agencies. And uh, this new resolution says that the discovery time will be reduced to 15 days. Um, that puts a hamstring on all law enforcement agents all around Orange County in terms of putting together the vital information to get these cases available. I can tell you with 100% certainty, I own a small business in Port Jervis. I was called two days ago by the local police department. There was an incident in Port Jervis and they asked for our outside video cameras if we saw a vehicle go by our own building. And if I can imagine that our little store has nine cameras on the front side of the building, I can't imagine how many other businesses throughout Orange County have cameras and other devices that all our law enforcement agents have to process within 15 days, 15 days, or else these crimes, uh, there'll be big problems. So I ask my fellow legislators to please support this. If anything, just in that alone, we could talk about the other details at great length in terms of the safety and security of our citizens, but that alone is compelling enough. And I ask for everyone to vote in favor. Thank you, Chairman. Thank you. Legislator Sassi. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. How much time do I have? None. Um, real quickly, and, and I uh, echo uh, Legislator Sutherland's and Fagione's comments as well, but I just wanted for the record to point out there are two major unforeseen consequences in this, this bill as it's written. Um, as we know, we're losing 100 people a day to the opioid epidemic. Uh, which uh, has, has not shown any signs of, of lessening. So there are many people currently in jails, incarcerated throughout the state of New York who are receiving drug treatment, and you're not gonna release them out on the streets. And I know not everyone will agree with, with me on this, but uh, I've met two people in my journeys on this opioid epidemic and, and all the bipartisan support I appreciate from my fellow colleagues here, but I've met two people that said if it wasn't for being incarcerated, they'd be dead. So come January 1st, we're gonna release people who are receiving treatment. And many of those people are walking the streets today who said if it wasn't for being incarcerated in Orange County Jail or any jail, in fact, in New York State, where it's mandatory that they receive treatment, they're back out on the street. And where do you think they're going to go? Is that fair? Is that social justice? I don't think so. Secondly, for the record, I think we should all know, New Jersey is grappling with this. Their pretrial costs have skyrocketed. And guess what? They're going to skyrocket in New York State. And our friend the governor is going to say to Orange County and every county, deal with it. So next budget year, how many millions of dollars are we going to need to appropriate for pretrial services? So mark that down. I urge you to support this. And I'd also like to, to thank Legislator Sierra in a committee meeting and raise this point. I hope he's right that the state does backtrack on this. If they feel that it's really a problem, that they correct it and they take those corrective actions uh, quickly if there are problems, and I think there are going to be problems. So uh, I support law enforcement, I support our courts and our district attorney uh, in their efforts to, to slow this down. Thank you. Thank you. Caucus Leader Ramo. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, I'm certainly a yes on this. Uh, however, I think that the, the key word for me in this resolution is amend. I think the position and premises of a lot of people, including defense attorneys, probably wasn't taken into account as, as, as much as it should have been. So I hope we do get it delayed and take a better look at it. Not only for all the reasons we just heard, but I think maybe some fairness could be could woven into it without all the disaster we're talking about. Thank you. I don't think it was taken into account at all, to be honest with you. I mean, it was slipped into the budget process. It, you know, most, if not all of us, agree that there needs to be bail reform, but not in the haphazard fashion that this was handed down. I mean, it's, it's you know, we've, we've had to add in the 2020 budget four ADAs and the it, you know, the district attorney wanted triple that amount. Uh, the sheriff's office have, has uh, told us what the impacts are gonna be there. The probation, we put money in contingency for the impacts that are forthcoming. Um, you know, that's what we're asking for, is for them to amend it, because it's, you're, you're gonna see people die out there, unfortunately. I mean, the village of Montgomery, there was a burglary last week, and the chief of police called me, and they had to just issue the, uh, the violator an appearance ticket. And, and Rob told you the impacts with the opioid epidemic. There's just going to be so many, so many, and uh, and nobody's trying saying that we don't need bail reform, but we need responsible bail reform. So I encourage you to pass this resolution as well. Roll call. Benelli. Yes. Paduke. Yes. Amo. Yes. Benton. Cheney. Fagione. Yes. Hines. Kulisek. Minuta. Yes. O'Donnell. Yes. Riskevich. Sassy, yes. Sierra, 
Stagango, yeah. Sutherland, yeah. Tortell, Tui, yeah. Bureau, <clears throat> Russia. Yeah. 18 ayes, one no, one abstention. Okay, number 14. Legislator Sassy and Staganga. Resolution authorizing the county executive in conjunction with the Orange County Department of Emergency Services, Fire Services, to accept and appropriate a grant from the New York State Division of Homeland Security and Emergency Services, pursuant to section 99-H of the General Municipal Law and section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Second. Discussion? The Duke added, Fagion added, uh, Totel added, Sierra, I see you, Joel. <laughs> Joel <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you want to speak to it? We can go back. You want to say something? Though? Say something about the last resolution. If I may. Yes, you may. Um, I, I voted against the resolution, and I said this at public safety. Um, we've been talking about bail reform for probably since I was a kid, at least. I can't remember the last time they didn't speak about bail reform. And I used to say this when I was on the council. These laws aren't written in stone. They're not, they're not written perfectly. Show me that it's a law that's written perfectly. And I think that this bill at least puts the ball in motion for change, for, for bail reform. I understand that there's a few things in there that I don't agree with. Most of us don't agree with. Um, again, I reiterate, I spoke at public safety I don't think it's a perfect bill, but uh, I agree with the change. I think it needs to be changed. I think this is at least a beginning to that change. Thank you. Thank you, Joel. Sorry I missed you there. Uh, who did I miss over there? Was it Kathy added? Totel was added to them. You already on? Okay. All right. Uh, Sutherland added too. Okay. Roll call. Vanelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Emo? Yes. Annette, I'm sorry, Benton? Cheney, Fagione, Hines, Kulisek, Menuda, O'Donnell, Briskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tartel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 19 eyes. Okay, number 15. Legislators Tartel, Tui, Benton, and Menuda. Resolution making a supplemental appropriation to the 2019 county budget for the Valley View Center for Nursing Care and Rehabilitation pursuant to section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Second. Discussion? Sutherland added, uh, the Duke added, okay. Kulisek added, Stiganga added. Roll call. Vanelli? Yes. The Duke? Yes. Amo? Yes. Benton? Cheney? Baggione? Hines? Kulisek? Menuda? O'Donnell? Briskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Stiganga? Sutherland? Tartel? Tui? Vero? Brescia? 19 eyes. Okay, number 16. Legislators Amo and Tartel, resolution authorizing the county executive in conjunction with the Orange County Department of Health to appropriate 50 year budget period funds from the New York State Department of Health pursuant to section 99-H of the general municipal law and section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Second. Discussion? The Duke add, name, added, yes, Sierra added, Sutherland added, Kulisek. Okay, roll call. Vanelli? Yes. The Duke? Yes. Amo? Yes. Benton, Cheney, Fagione, Hines, Kulisek, Menuda, O'Donnell, Riskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tartel, Tui, Bureau, Brescia. 19 eyes. Okay, number 17. Legislators Tui and Tartel, resolution authorizing the county executive in conjunction with the Orange County Department of Health to appropriate 50 year budget period funds from the New York State Department of Health pursuant to section 99-H of the general municipal law and section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Second. Discussion? Kulisek added, Sutherland, Menuda, Sierra. Okay, roll call. Benelli? Yes. The Duke? Yes. Amo? Yes. Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulisek? Menuda? O'Donnell? Riskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Staganga? Sutherland? Tortell? Tui? Bureau, Brescia, 19 eyes. Okay, number 18. Legislators Fagione and Staganga, resolution pursuant to local law number nine of 2018, ethics and disclosure law, section eight, paragraph A, amending appendix A, 
list of positions of certain county officers and local political officials required to file a financial disclosure form by deleting the current list and adopting an amended list in its place. Second. Discussion? Totel added? Okay. Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulisek? Minuta, O'Donnell, Riskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tortell, Tui, Biro, Brescia, 19 eyes. Okay, number 19. Legislator Staganga, Lujan, Tui, Benton, an act amending the appropriate Orange County employment schedules to reclassify senior secretary and administrative assistant to executive secretary and administrative assistant at the Orange County Department of Public Works Airport pursuant to section 2.02i of the Orange County Charter. Second. Discussion. Bureau added. Kulisek added. Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulisek? Minuta, O'Donnell, Riskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tortell, Tui, Biro, Brescia, 19 eyes. Okay, number 20. Legislators Lujan, Staganga, Tortell, and Tui, an act amending the appropriate Orange County employment schedules to reclassify executive secretary and administrative assistant to executive assistant at the Orange County Department of Residential Health Care Services pursuant to section 2.02i of the Orange County Charter. Discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulisek? Minuta? O'Donnell? Riskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Staganga? Sutherland? Tortell? Tui? Biro? Brescia? 19 eyes, Mr. Chairman, and the desk is clear. Well, that was a quick meeting. No, no speakers afterwards, right? I'd like to wish everybody a happy, healthy, safe holiday season and uh, all the best. Motion to adjourn. Thank you. Second. Thank you. We're adjourned.